Hi, church. I want to ask you a question. Have you ever tried to make a decision about something um, and, and you did some research in order to figure out what the right decision was going to be? Maybe you were going to purchase something. Um, so let's say you were trying to purchase a car. And, uh, and so you do all kinds of research and look at the history and, and reviews of other people uh, to see whether that was going to be a good fit for you. And you looked at the gas mileage and you looked at um, how long it would last and that sort of thing. Or maybe you were trying to research a right part for something. Uh, just yesterday I was working on a vehicle and I spent most of the day just trying to make the right decision. And I had to look up web pages and and um, and I was looking up YouTube videos, you know, trying to make sure that, that the part that we were going to order was going to be the right thing, right? Because you want to make a right decision, so you get all this research and information and you're trying to weigh what is right and what's not. Or maybe, let's do it a different direction, maybe you're trying to look for uh, a daycare for your children or uh, how you're going to educate your children and, um, and you're looking at like uh, medicines and vitamins and things like that in, in your life that you're trying to figure out what's better for you. And so you research all these things and, and it's hard to know what information you can trust and, and, and you read all of it and, and you really try to just weigh it in the balance so that you can make the right decision. Well, those are, um, that, that's something we do every day, right? Um, and, and that's what you're expected to do. But what about just in your life in general and trying to make right decisions for yourself morally, ethically, um, and uh, habitually, what you are going to become one day, what you want to be five years from now, ten years from now, or maybe tomorrow. Okay, what should I do about me today even? Okay, so that's where Scripture helps build the foundation for everything really in your life. And today's proverb, Proverb chapter 8, deals with that very thing of the opportunity we have to get the right answers, get the right information about just making decisions for life. And I want to read to you just a few verses of Proverbs chapter 8. It's really important that you see when you're studying Proverbs that Christ is personified, wisdom is personified in Christ. And so think about that when you hear the word wisdom. All right, so Proverbs 8, 1. Doth not wisdom cry and understanding put forth her voice? Now, when it means cry, it doesn't mean tears. It doesn't mean mournful uh, or anything like that. The word cry is talking about just being a loud voice, okay? So, so think about that. It's, it's like wisdom is just crying out to you, uh, yelling. It's yelling out to you. And so Jesus is trying to instruct us. He's trying to get information to us. And you know what? As a parent, you understand that. If you watch your children live their life and try to make decisions, especially as they get a little older, um, your heart goes out to them like it's, there's some things you can see. You're like, oh, no, you know, they're about to make a bad decision there or, or um, uh, I need to help them, you know, guide them and direct them. And so your, your heart goes out. You, you want to, hey, say, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, you're about to make a big mistake, you know, or, or do it. Hey, maybe, maybe I can direct you this way uh, to help you make a better decision. And that's the idea is that the, God's got a heart for us. He wants us to make those right decisions. And so it, wisdom's just crying out to you. Now, look at this next part. Verse 2, she standeth in the top of high places by the way in the places of the paths. She crieth at the gates, at the entry of the city, at the coming in at the doors. Look, it's everywhere. That's what we're saying here. The information, the opportunity to get wisdom is not a hidden thing. It's not like it's not hard to figure out. The decisions we make in life are really fundamentally, basically, not hard to figure out because the wisdom to make these decisions is, is, is plenteous. It's everywhere. You say, where exactly where are we talking about? I'm going to get to that in a minute. Unto you, O men, I call, and my voice is to the sons of men. O ye simple, understand wisdom, and ye fools, be ye of an understanding heart. So if you're simple and you're thinking, you'll, you'll get better, okay? This is for you. Um, if you've made foolish decisions in life, hey, this is for you. And I've been there, right? The, be of an understanding heart. Verse 6, hear, just listen to me, for I will speak of excellent things. 
and the opening of my lips shall be right things. For my mouth shall speak truth, and wickedness is an abomination to my lips. I'm not going to steer you wrong. I'm not going to give you evil, bad information. I'm going to give you the right stuff every single time. Who is talking here? This is the Lord Jesus talking to us saying, Here, let me give you wisdom. Where is it found? Well, it's right here. It's in the Word of God. It's in the Word of God. And He's calling out. He's yelling, Hey, hey, listen to me. I can give you the decision-making the decision -making skills you need. I can give you the right information you're looking for so that you make the right decisions. Isn't that wonderful? We've got a God that cares about us enough like that. But what, would he, what do we need to do? we got to get in the Word. you got to get in the Word in order to get wisdom. All right? It's there for you. It is all you need. Get in it today if you hadn't done so already. Stay in that thing. All right? God bless you, folks.